Hello and welcome back to RimWorld and of course our great colony. Last time we fought off a pretty significant uh, raid which we happen to get a ton of equipment from and we are now totally decked out like nobody's business. Kimmy is currently uh, suffering from an infection which is not the best thing in the world but she'll be fine. We set up a um, hospital which I just realized has neither a heater nor a cooler in it, so she's probably suffering from the elements right now, which is not a good thing. So we're gonna set up a couple of those for her. That should be fine. Um, so currently, we're working on some big renovations around the colony. Uh, basically trying to get this second geothermal vent set up so that it's well protected within our walls. Looks like Miss Lane is leaving. Goodbye, Lane. We purchased some stuff from you. I quite appreciate that you uh, did business with us. There's still a bit of stuff out here that was left there. Um, outside of that, I mean, we're just moving along. We're really waiting for the first crop of plants to uh, come up so, you know, we're not suffering from the terrible levels of starvation that have currently been just ravaging our colony as of late, which is not great. I mean, I prefer for people to stop eating other people. Strangely, that's not, like, a good thing to do around here, and it, it's highly frowned upon, but Ninja, being the cannibal that he is, just can't help but feast upon human beings. Is he still freaking out about that? I don't even know. No, he appears to have gotten over the fact that he ate a human being. That's always a good thing. Always a good thing. You never want to continually freak out about having eaten someone. Because then you just don't have enough time to, like, I don't know, go and try to eat someone else. I mean, I figure if you're going to eat one person, you're probably going to try to eat another person. So, I mean, Ninja's either got to choose to uh, give up his cannibalism entirely or he will become a straight-up cannibal. You know, we could make this colony just go completely cannibalistic. I mean, I'm not saying that's a good idea or that it's something that's going to happen. And in fact, I'm highly against it, actually. But, I mean, it is a possibility. We could just have a cannibalistic cat instead. I don't know. Anyway, we're probably not going to go cannibalistic because that sounds like a terrible plan. It looks like Wolf is making up a few more shirts, which is always good. I don't know how much clothes we actually have that are, you know, even half decent, but... We'll have to see how that goes. Brody, what are you doing doing nothing? You're not allowed to do nothing. Can someone... Uh, Wolf, you're officially now going to be a cook. Hopefully. I mean, I feel like there's the brewing job you could possibly do. There are some hops in here. What is this? That's a bunch of hops. How many hops do you need for one set of beer? That is a good question. Let's actually take a look. It's 25 hops. Okay, I see how it is. We need a, an absolutely large quantity of hops if we want to survive. And it looks like we're getting the first actual crop of rice, which is perfect. Um, I think potatoes usually yield slightly more than something like rice will yield. So these guys are coming up pretty soon. They got 20% left. In the meantime, we should be able to survive off of what rice we just got out of that field. And people will stop eating other people, which will be great. These guys, I don't even know. They can't even be asked. Could we possibly get some uh, paving tiles up here? Because we've got whole new areas of the colony that need to be attached to the road system. There we go. With that, we should be able to, you know, get people walking along paving tiles all over the place. They'll be all happy. And if they're not happy, well, then we're going to bring them out to the edge of the colony and burn them at the stake. Because we are a colony of happy people and not having any of it. Kimmy, are you okay? She is not okay. Um, can someone, anyone, please go help Kimmy? I mean, seriously, uh, that's kind of kind of an important thing. Who's got good health? Um, I mean, Kimmy's the doctor, which is kind of concerning. Looks like bachetto has got some good medicine. I think he's the one. Bichetto? Um, no, can you please... Don't rest until healed. You need to go for Kimmy. Help Kimmy, Bichetto! 
Bushetto. Wait, th has she been treated actually? Oh, the multi analyzer is done. That's nice. Oh, she has been treated. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, we just have to cross our fingers and hope that she survives. And if she doesn't, well then. Oh, that's not going to be the best thing in the world. I'm not going to be terribly happy about that, but I guess, you know, things happen? Question mark? Suddenly, colonists just die on occasion. That's totally not how we're going to deal with this. So we need to set up a new multi-analyzer. Well, a multi-analyzer. This is the multi-analyzer. It needs 100 steel, 50 plasteel, and 20 gold. We have the gold. I'm not certain we have the steel, but I'm pretty sure we have the steel that can be mined up to, you know, actually get enough for that. And we'll stick it right in here. I think it fits in that little spot there. Yeah, we'll just stick it right there. Get rid of a few of these walls, and then we should be able to attach it to our l laboratory, which will basically um, increase the laboratory's ability to do research and stuff. Um, we're also going to need to mine up some of this plasteel, because we do need a bit of plasteel for this job, so... We're just going to take a bit of that, mine it out, and that'll be enough to actually finish up the multi-analyzer. Um, oh my word. We really need wood. Like, we need wood real bad. Because I am really, really holding out for the whole construction of this giant walkway to the ge new geothermal plant. That's going to be amazing. If we can get that done, that'd be great. Kimmy, are, are you going to die? I'm quite concerned that Kimmy's... Oh, no, no, no. She looks like she's going to be fine. She's on 95% immunity. 96? I think she should survive this. If she dies on, like, 99%, I'm not having any of it. What is this? An architect named Rosaline Whitehouse calls you from nearby. She's being tra chased by a bunch of filthy tribes people. Oh, okay. We'll offer her safety. Come on in, White House. Uh, good luck. Um, please run very quickly because there are terrible creatures coming for you. I mean, they're people. They're not actually creatures, but at the same time, I think you understand. It's not going to be fun if you don't move quickly. Um, White House is going to need to pick up probably a pistol. I don't know. Where are all of our pistols? I mean, there's one right here. You go... Go equip the pistol, White House. Brody's going to get in with his longsword. Given that these are tribes people, um, having a longsword user is going to be pretty important. As soon as Kimmy gets this fully um, dealt with, this infection, which I feel like is going to be pretty quick once she has immunity to it, we should be able to bring her out into combat as well. And we'll have the full force ready to take down all of these disgusting tribes people. Uh, White House is just having a nice little romp over to her pistol. Um, White House, you need to move a lot faster than that. I'm going to level with you. Things are not going to go well for you if you don't move quickly. Uh, okay, she's got the pistol. Um, where are you going to go to? I mean, I want her relatively close to the rest of the people. I think we're going to need to move colonists down to this particular section of the defensive line and White House can take up a position here Brody will just wait for the opponents to move into like a melee range more so okay go for Dorna go 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 take him down people take him down give no ground okay we've got immunity that is perfect um Kimmy oh she's incapacitated Oh, they're going for Kimmy. They're moving in against the hospital. That's terrible. Brody, defend the hospital. Let no one leave. Oh, my word. Brody is very lucky he has a shield because I'm pretty sure he would be in a pretty bad position if he didn't have one of those. Hey, look. Hey, Oyster. How's it going? Brody's not having any of you, Oyster. Get your face out of here. What are you doing? You're just breaking down doors? That's not cool, guys. Stop breaking our doors. We like our doors. Our doors are nice. Kill Purple. He's trying to break a door to get out of here. Oh, well. Once again, we did a pretty darn good job of holding back 
an enemy siege. That was great. Good job, guys. Uh, Kimmy wasn't on the defensive line, which is unfortunate. I would have preferred that she was out there with everyone else, but... I mean, actually, that was a pretty solid defense. I mean, it's a bunch of tribes people. It's actually not that hard to kill a bunch of tribes people, but... I mean, you know, it's it's a thing. It's a thing. We we have to take victories where we can get them because we don't always get them. Have you killed purple yet? Oh. Oh, perfect. You will be capturing purple. Bring him in, Brody. Bring him in. Perfect. We now have basically everything under control. We're going to build up a nice wooden bed for Miss White House. Uh, Purple's going to be going into the prison cell. Kimmy's okay now because she now has an immunity to her infection. It's just going to be a matter of time before it's done for. And now it's just a matter of cleanup as usual. Ah, oh, good job, guys. Good job, guys. You're all great. You're amazing. You do great fighting. A lot of you got, like, hit by arrows or beaten with a club or whatnot. I mean, you should all just get over it, more or less, because, I mean, it's not like you got shot. I mean, I guess technically the people who got hit by arrows were shot by a bow, so, I mean, I guess they can complain a bit, but at the same time, um, I'm really having none of it, guys. Um, if you could just, you know... You know, work on that one. Okay. So, this storage area is actually getting built up pretty quickly. We're going to need to haul away all of this rock. So it doesn't take up precious space, which could otherwise be filled with a bunch of equipment. And there we go. We have a new member of the colony. Miss White House, the architect. White House, what kind of a person are you? A cave world tender who is also an architect. Six growing skill. Growing skill is always something we need. She's super artistic. She appears to have... Um... White House breathes heavily all the time and sweats constantly. People find it creepy. That is really creepy, actually. That's really weird. She's a night owl and she's rather nervous. Which, um... Basically, the combination of being really nervous and creepy breathing is not the best. She's an architect, and she is also a cave world tender. So that's pretty good, actually. That That's not that bad. That's not that bad. She can work the fields quite a bit, which is going to be perfect. And as soon as her bed actually gets built, which um, is questionable if that's ever going to happen, because that will require um, getting actual, what is it, um, wood out here, which currently we don't have much wood at all. How are you guys doing? Uh, please try to chat and recruit Keeper. What kind of person is Keeper? She's lazy, abrasive, and a teetotaler. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know... No... No, I don't... I'm not really having this. You know, lazy, abrasive, maybe, maybe you can get past those two. But that disgusting teetotaler... I mean, I guess she avoids alcohol and drugs, but quite frankly, we're supposed to be a beer-making colony, people. You cannot be a teetotaler and be part of this colony. You know what? You know what's gonna happen here? Execution. Killer! Killer! Chewie, you can't... Did Chewie just straight up execute her? Chewie? You can't just... Uh, why are you willing to execute someone, but you're not willing to go and defend the colony with everyone else? Chewie, you're the worst. You are just the worst kind of person out there. My word. Okay, what kind of... Potential construction can we do here? Gun turrets, electric cremation. Oh, well, no. We have a house of the dead for that. We don't need that. Um, machining, actually. Um, machining tables to craft guns and machinery or disassemble dead mechanoids. That will give us the ability to turn a few of these mechanoid corpses into some components, which is going to be perfect. Now, oh, look at the house of the dead. There's so many dead people. 
I mean, it basically hasn't burnt down unlike every other colony. Uh, the House of the Dead has remained mostly intact for the entirety of the colony, which is great because now we actually have like a legitimate like testament to how many people we've killed and we've killed a lot of people a lot of people a concerning quantity of people it has to be said that's like a good maybe 20 people that's actually not that many when you think about it that's like twice the number of our colony and our colony's pretty small yeah that's not the best that's not the best exhaustion wait who's oh Lenster. Well, Lenser, you're having a mental break. Get over your exhaustion. Come on now. You can't really expect to be not exhausted when you're having a mental break, Lenster. Come on. Where'd you put your rifle, Lenster? Where'd you put it? Do you still have it on you? You don't. Ugh, Lenster dropped a rifle somewhere. We have to find it because those rifles are pretty valuable. They're good things. There it is. There we go. It's a normal rifle. Perfect. Oh my word, look at this. That is a beautiful little spot right there. How is this thing doing? Are you actually like pumping out liquid here? Is it gonna get rid of this? I can hardly tell. It doesn't look like it's really doing anything at all when you get down to it. But you know, we're gonna leave it running because we have the electricity. Cargo pod. Megatherium wool. Oh my word. I mean... Thinking about it, I don't really know if I want Megatherium wool. Not 100% certain what we're going to do with that or what you even do do with it. But, you know, you know, we'll do what we can. Lanster, are, have you gotten over that? Good for you, Lanster. She's no longer having a complete freak out. I mean, she's still sleeping outside, which is not the best thing in the world. But, you know, you do what you got. White House, don't. Don't sleep in the walk-in fridge. That's like of all the places you could sleep, you should sleep out in the streets as opposed to sleeping in a walk-in walk fridge. Oh my word, she's probably having like bad thoughts about sleeping in the cold. Well, maybe you should go outside. I mean, it's still cold outside, but it's better outside than it is there. Jeez, these people, I don't even know about them. They are out of this world. Lenster, are you quite to, what? just happened oh my word it exploded guys there's a fire please everyone move in try to if at all possible put out the fire oh my goodness that was quite an explosion actually um luckily we have a ton of people to put out fires and not much was actually damaged outside of white house who appears to have taken quite a few burns. It's not the best. Leinster, where are you? Where is she? Um, what happened to Leinster? Is she suffering from like, like, like what, what's up? Are you okay? Oh, she's got a major untreated uh, infection. That's not a good thing. Um, that's actually very bad. She's probably gonna get wrecked for that one when you think about it. Um, just try to sleep, Lenster. You'll be fine, I swear. She's not gonna be fine. It's over. Uh, Lenster will die here today, and we'll have to build the first actual grave for colonists. Um, what? You've detected an escape pod crashing hard nearby. Anyone survived would be badly wounded. It's Wolf's sister. Nina the model? Oh my word, she's beautiful, industrious, and steadfast. What is steadfast? Oh, lower mental break. That's actually pretty good. I mean, higher mental break. Global work speed plus 35%. And she is beautiful. That's perfect. Um, so if it's possible for Wolf to go out there and uh, capture Nina the model, just so she actually becomes part of our colony... Oh, Brody's throwing a party. That's great. I mean, once again, Leinster is not going to be part of the party. I mean, I don't mean to be that guy, but it kind of seems like the colonists are uh, throwing parties centered around when Leinster's severely injured. Yeah. Yeah, that seems to be a thing. That's not the best, really. Um, how are you guys doing? I'm sure, I'm sure you're all happy about that. 
anyway, for now, that brings us to the end of the episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Next time, we'll be bringing Nina into the colony, because unlike the last person who showed up that we tried to save, um, she is not a terrible human being, actually. She's a pretty decent person. So, until next time, thanks for watching, and of course, as always, enjoy the rest of your day.